Zools is a cloud backup provider that offers different pricing by the type of storage you choose. In this review, we take a look at the Zools home plans that use cold storage as a standard for all your files. Now, cold storage is not to be confused with cloud storage because when you read the two words, I mean, they look very similar and you can get confused. Using cold storage means it will take longer until Zools or any provider that uses cold storage technology makes data available for restore because it's data that is really not meant to be for day-to-day -day use or day-to-day -day restores or for the quick uh, restore that you need on the go. If you need to access data immediately, you need to add the instant vault feature, which costs extra, of course. So one terabyte of cold storage for five users will set you back $79.99 per year. And if you need the instant vault, you can add another $14.95 per year for 20 gigabytes. And I think it goes up to 100 gigabytes of, or even a terabyte of instant storage, and of course the price increases. You may have guessed it already, the pricing is rather confusing. There is instant storage, there's cold storage, there's volt storage, there's so many words on their page. It's really hard to, to orient oneself on, on it and really find out what it actually all means. So there's always the need for an explanation or a little asterisk uh, attached to the features or the pricing. The free trial is hidden somewhere at the bottom of the page. If you find the download button, you can get 14 days to test the service to see if it really meets your requirements, but the free trial is limited to 50 gigabytes. Backup speed was um, quite consistent. It was quite fast. It bounced around a lot between 10, megabyte and, 10, 10 megabit and 50 megabit per second, depending on what files were actually transferred. And there are two modes. There's the Torba mode and the Smart mode. Now, I'm going to go into depth what those modes mean and if there's any difference later. The setup wizard was easy enough. I could select my files from a file tree and there are no real hidden exclusions that I could see that you really need to check in order to back up all your files. You can, however, choose to exclude files of certain types or certain size. While most cloud backup solutions focus on backing up one computer, Zools offers plans for multiple computers and storage needs, similar to CrashPlan's family plan. However, CrashPlan is an unlimited service provider, so putting no limits as to the amount of files you can store. But let's look at the backup process and how it works at Zools. Zools offers a pretty simple backup wizard where users could either have Zools scan their entire file system for any media files, or you could select files manually. Now, this is the option I chose because I have my 10 gigabyte of uh, test folder um, and backups can be customized according to your needs. Now, you can set a uh, personal pass phrase to really encrypt your files before they're sent to the Zools cloud. So there is some end to end encryption in place. And this makes backups secure from prying eyes, but comes with the disadvantage that you should really never ever forget your private key because otherwise you cannot restore your files, not even Zools. But that's the whole point of private or local or end to end encryption. Now, Zools allows backup of unlimited external hard drives and NAS devices. And you don't have to connect them on a regular basis for Zools to retain all those files in their cloud. And this is one of the main differences to cloud backup services that offer unlimited storage. The majority will obviously delete your files after 30 days if a machine or a hard drive hasn't been connected during those 30 days because otherwise they would have to retain too much storage because they're unlimited service. CrashPlan is the only service I believe that, the, that retains your files if you set it up correctly and let it retain more than 30 days. But Zools is a limited service provider, so they will do it anyway. Backups can be configured in the so-called smart mode and the turbo mode. I had to ask support to find out which one does actually what. So here it comes. The smart mode 
uh, enables basically automatic adjustment of your backup speed based on essentially user, user activity um, so that it really runs seamless in the background without interfering with day-to-day -day tasks. Now, faster backups uh, will actually then uh, happen if your computer is idle and if you don't work on your computer as much. Now, the Torbo mode, as the name suggests, runs the backup at turbo speed for faster completion. In this mode, Zools will consume more resources, so it's recommended to enable this mode when the machine is idle. I tested the service with the turbo mode enabled, um, but really it didn't change the performance much. So I tested both and it worked uh, similarly in, in, in both modes. Overall, my speed meter indicates that larger files are transferred way faster than a lot of the smaller files I included in my test folder, which you can clearly see in this chart that I'm going to put right here. Now, where large files did reach a maximum transfer speed of 50 megabit per second, smaller files could only yield about 10 megabit per second. I say only because 10 megabit per second is already a very good result compared to crash plan where I was lucky to get maybe five megabit per second throughput. Now, it's not surprising they're fast because Zools actually uses Amazon servers um, as their, their main server infrastructure. Um, so Amazon servers are naturally <laughs> very fast. So obviously they benefit from that as well. So you can find all my speed comparisons right here or click on the link in the description box below where I really summarized all the speed tests I made for the 11 cloud backup services that I reviewed in this cloud backup series. Overall, so we'll send my 10 gigabytes uh, to the cloud in under an hour to their cold storage, which is a very good and very solid result in the grand scheme of my testing. Now, Let's look at the restore process real quick. Zools uses cold storage technology, as we already know, because this is generally a lot cheaper for archiving purposes. But it obviously comes with a downside. It takes longer to retrieve files. So when you click on the restore tab and want to restore files, you need to wait quite a bit until it, the actual download process starts. In my case, it took four hours and 43 minutes until Zools really started uh, to download my files. The actual download was completed very fast after only 20 minutes. So 10 gigabytes in 20 minutes is not too bad. But this is giving me, of course, an average of around 37 megabit per second. But you have to know that I tested this on a very fast gigabit download connection. So I got occasional download speed spikes, spikes of up to 600 megabit per second. So the average consumer will not get this, but I think 37 or 40 or 50 megabit per second is a velocity that most of you guys will already have at home. If you're using the home version, Zools gives you 10 file versions, which is a little stingy for a cloud backup company offering limited storage space. That's uh, why I do suppose that those versions probably do not count towards your overall storage quota. You can select the versions you want to restore by clicking on the show versions link either in the software or in the web client. So you can choose basically either way how you want to restore your files, either via the software client or via the web. I would do it via the software client because it's much more convenient and you can uh, much more easily restore larger sets and larger files or even your entire backups. So does it make the cut into one of my favorite cloud backup tools? Well. I still don't like the fact that I need to decide which files go into the instant vault. For example, if I need to restore a file fast to continue working on a project, I really can't wait five hours for Zools to be ready for, for restore. I need the file, I need the presentation, I need the whatever it is. I, I need it fast and, and, and I need it right now to show to my client or to sign a contract or whatever. If I, if I need to restore it, for example, after a hard drive failure. Other than that, I found Zools to be very easy to navigate and upload and download speeds were very good. Download obviously provided that Zools already uh, distributed the files to their system so that you can download it instantly. 10 file versions are a bit stingy, as I mentioned before, but you can back up external hard drives 
as well as NAS devices at very affordable 80 bucks per year. Of course, Zeus cannot synchronize files like Acronis True Image Cloud or Dropbox or other uh, file synchronization solutions, and they don't do full system image backups either. So you may want to use Zools as a, well, sort of cost effective, maybe secondary backup solution or rather archival solution and have something like maybe a crash plan or iDrive or Backblaze at the ready for faster restores. So if you like this video, please, as always, Give it your thumbs up. This helps that other people find out about it and that uh, we'll have more people watching this video. And obviously leave a comment if you have any questions and I'll be leaving all the resources and links um, in the description box below this video. So I hope I see you in my next one and uh, have a great week. Bye-bye. Thank you guys for watching my videos. As I've already mentioned, this is a video series of 11 of the best cloud backup services. If you think this provider is something for you, you can sign up for a free trial by clicking the button right here. If you still couldn't decide, make sure to watch my other videos from the playlist and you can access them by clicking on the logos here on this screen or you can check out the links in the description box below. Thank you very much for watching and remember to subscribe. Yeah.